friends, welcome to noon prayer for Thursday, April the 30th. Glad you are with us today. Um, hope you are feeling well and uh, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically as healthy as you can given, given the current circumstances. Um, just to share with you, um, I I sent out the email invitation for our Zoom coffee hour today. So if you check your inboxes, hopefully you will see it. Um, I will give the same disclaimer that I've given before. And believe me, I'm tired of saying it. And we're beginning to perhaps look into some different options for sending out mass emails other than the system we've got. Um, but it seems like some people in particular, it's taking an awfully long time for that email to download into your box. So if you don't get the listserv email today, uh, don't panic. Um, maybe wait until, believe it or not, until Saturday. If you do not see an email in your inbox with information on how to attend our Zoom coffee hour on Sunday, by Saturday morning, uh, please send me an email. Um, send it before noon, and I promise that I will check my email throughout the morning on Saturday and make sure that you get the instructions for how to sign on. Uh, we really do. It was great last week to have uh, we had 31 different people at one point, and actually. Um, it was really more than that because there were many cameras in which there were at least two people in the in the focus. So we had quite a number of people at our coffee hour. It was great to see you and hear you. We really do want to do it again. Now, uh, a word of, uh, of information uh, also to let you know that uh, Bruce McLaughlin is very kindly uh, setting up our Zoom coffee hour for us this week so that I am able to stay here at church until I am absolutely positively certain that our worship video has uploaded. Um, it might not be at 9.30 on the dot, but we're gonna certainly try to make that happen. So um, we thank Bruce for that. And what I wanted to say to you is that uh, Bruce is, uh, has set it up that we do need uh, a password to enter the Zoom meeting. It's not hard to do that. Um, you will see the instructions right in the email, but it will make our email more, our, our email, our, our Zoom conversation more secure uh, from outside uh, interlopers. Uh, you all did such a great job with it last week without a password that we are confident that you can manage just one more small step which will make it a better experience for all of us. Also remember, if you happen to have a set of headphones or earbuds that also have a microphone on them, you might, and you're, and you're looking at coffee hour by yourself, you might want to think about uh, plugging them into your computer or your phone or your iPad. Uh, they do really make the sound much better, not only for you to hear it, but also for others to hear you. And it does tend to, block out some of our noise that we all don't even realize that we have going on in our homes. So just something else to consider. But I hope that one way or another, you will be with us for Zoom coffee hour again this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed, alleluia. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. 
He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. If you tuned in yesterday, you heard me saying that I wanted to spend four days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, this week at our noon prayer service, sharing with you different translations of this Sunday coming up, the fourth Sunday of Easter, is the Sunday which we call Good Shepherd Sunday because we always get scripture readings that make us think about sheep and shepherds. And we always, on this fourth Sunday, no matter which year we're in, we always get the 23rd Psalm. And so I thought that uh, it would be nice for you to hear it this week, four different days, four different translations. Yesterday, I read for you the old King James Version, which you may have even been able to recite right along with me. Uh, today, I will read you the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible's translation of Psalm 23, the NRSV, New Revised uh, Standard Version, is the version that we most often use during worship. So here now, the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Show us your mercy, O God and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving health again and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, your love never fails, and you can turn the shadow of death into daybreak. Help us to receive your word with believing hearts, so that confident in your promises, we may have hope and be lifted out of sorrow into the joy and peace of your presence. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. O oh God, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us in this day by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but remember that always we are walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I get to my daily reminder for good mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional health in this time, 
Uh, I wanted to comment on a comment that was made yesterday on uh, this Facebook post. I understand that Barbara Shirer feels uh, like she sometimes wants to talk to me while I'm speaking to her. I think that's wonderful. I hope that there are lots of you out there who, as I am praying, are responding back to me. After all this time, you may very well know some of the words in that responsive prayer that I use after after the scripture reading. Um, and, and even if you're not, uh, if you're just saying hello or responding back in prayer, whatever you're doing, I think it's lovely that uh, that she and perhaps others of you are are talking back to me on the screen. I think that's kind of cool. So anyway, uh, what I wanted to remind you today is to to remember to keep moving, keep exercising in whatever way you can. You know, exercise might be too too much for you, any kind of heavy duty exercise. But if you can walk, walk. You know, it, maybe it's a day like today. It doesn't look so nice outside. I don't know that you're going to walk outside, but but keep keep moving. Even if you just take stairs in your home, if you're able to do that, take them a few extra times. Um, just do what you can to keep moving, to keep your body going. Uh, it's very easy in these days when we can't get out and about the way we are used to doing, the way we love to do. It's very easy to become a couch potato. But here is my suggestion to you today. Don't do it. Don't let the couch develop an indent where your behind sits every single day for hours on end. Get up and keep moving. You will feel better for it. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us. Defend us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.